So today I'm going to show you how to do the dolly zoom effect or the vertigo effect in two simple steps in Blender. This effect has many other names as well, but I use it a lot in product commercials, especially in the final shot. And uh, I used it recently as well and it came out really great. Hey guys, I'm Shahan from Scala Studios. I'm a 3D artist and I make videos like this, which you guys can check after watching this video. So the dolly zoom effect is one of the most coolest effects in filmmaking and it shows up in some of the most coolest and iconic scenes in movies and it shows how different kinds of lenses work and how filmmakers use them to create some epic memorable scenes. So in real life you need a smooth track and a steady zoom to pull it off and it can be a bit expensive. So. When it comes to CG, your imagination is the limit, so you can do anything you want. And they look real cool in product videos, so let's get into it. So with Shift S, I'm going to add a camera, and I'm going to move it back like that. And with S10 in the numpad, I'm going to scale it up and rotate it 90 degrees in the X axis. Now in the scene window, I'm going to select the second camera because I already had a camera in scene and press zero in the numpad to get into the camera. I also have auto keyframing on so that it's easy for me to get this keyframes done. And I'm only going to have 90 keyframes in the whole scene. Also, I'm going to raise our camera up with G and Z. And now I'll go to the camera settings in our scene and make the focal length 10 millimeters and move the camera way forward and uh, place it like that and add a keyframe maybe we can make it the focal length like eight millimeters and uh, move the camera up like that and uh, go to the final keyframe the 90th frame and move the camera back a bit and make the ca focal length like 50 millimeters and push the camera back and now if you play the animation we have our dolly zoom or the vertigo effect happening so now we have to add our depth of field in which is going to make the animation more realistic so with shift a i'm going to add an empty and i'm going to place it on top of our stormtrooper's face like that and now i'm going to select our camera and go to depth of field and uh, i'm going to actually select the empty we just created I'm gonna name it focus point and uh, you can see the name is focus point. Now I'm gonna go to the f-stop and I'm gonna make it 0 0.3 and go to the first frame and add a keyframe there. Now you can see the depth of field is playing well in the background and now I'm going to the 90th frame and there I'm gonna make the f-stop 1 and add a keyframe there as well. If you want to create the same scene we have in the tutorial, I have a video in my channel where I create the same scene. I'll have the link somewhere up in the top and in the description so that you can check it out. So that's it for this tutorial guys. I have a bunch of other tutorials in my channel as well so you can check them out. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'm planning to do a lot more cool tutorials in the future. So make sure you subscribe and uh, leave a comment on what kind of tutorials you want me to make in the future. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye!